everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're going to talk about the brand new additions and the brand new updated YouTube application. So for the past couple days, if you've been using the YouTube application, you're watching videos, you might notice that a few things have been added, moved around, or even changed, either added or taken away. So today we'll be talking about all eight different things that I found that is brand new with this latest update. Now, if there's anything that I've missed that's not in this video, just write a comment below the video inside the description so this way everybody can also take a look at what I've missed. So the first one that we will be covering today is the brand new gestures. So usually when you're watching YouTube, if you rotate your phone vertically, horizontally, the YouTube application would follow you. If you do need to switch it manually, you tap on the screen, you hit on that little box on the bottom right hand side that will switch it for you vertically and horizontally. Now this brand new one is dealing with gestures. So when it comes down to the gestures, if you want to watch this one in full screen, just simply swipe up. Now, as you swipe up, it'll kind of do this little like zoom in little uh, effect, and then it's switching it over into the large screen for you. Now, if you wanna switch back and you wanted to watch it uh, vertically, then you're able to swipe down. So it's actually one of those nice things that you are able to do, maybe before you actually rotate your phone, you wanna make sure that it's going with you. Just swipe up, swipe down swipe up swipe down so that's the brand new gestures now if you are watching a video vertically already and if you swipe down it's just going to bring it all the way down here on the bottom so you can still continue watching it but you're able to scroll through all the rest of the videos Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here to the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials on not only just your Samsung Galaxy devices, but also on using your YouTube application, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. Now, the second thing that's been added or moved is going to be the closed captions. So this is something that would make it easier for you to access if you needed to turn on the closed captions. So usually when you tap on the screen, top right-hand side, you hit on the more option. This is where you can take a look and you can turn on the captions so they actually made it really easy one touch away boom close captions they are now turned on and then if you do need to turn them off then you're able to turn them off now since we're already kind of sitting right here talking about what is on the screen uh, this is also something that's brand new if you noticed a little switch this is for that auto play Usually autoplay was right, I believe right here or right here. It was right above your very next video that you could watch. So if you wanted the next video to come up and then the next video and then the next video automatically, you'd be able to switch this on. It used to be down here, but now it's on the very top right inside of that video. Now for this next change, you might also be wondering why we're watching this video. And it's just because vidIQ did a really good job with this one here, and that is the video chapters. So video chapters is where you're able to actually add in the timestamps inside of the description of the video. This is added in by the YouTuber. So this way anybody can actually switch between different areas of the video. If they want to watch something specific, they don't have to watch the whole thing and then they can find what they want to watch. Also, maybe if you wanted to watch it a second time without having to try to find it inside of this little video bar you just go right back to the where the beginning of that was so one of the nice things about this one here is that when you when you tap on the screen and then you tap on the, the this word or the sentence however it's set up where you have that little arrow right there what's gonna pop up is going to be the chapter so this is this one video this is what's gonna happen at 2 minutes and 58 seconds this is gonna happen at 4 minutes and 11 seconds it's a way that you're able to find that specific area of the video uh, that was already prescribed for you now this is probably the reason why you don't have the option anymore to just tap somewhere on the line and, and, and you know forward and go backwards. So when I used to watch YouTube videos, it was a way that I used to you know tap on the line to actually forward or reverse. Now you actually have to press and hold on that dot to actually move it. So this is probably one of those ways to kind of keep the audience engaged, to keep on watching the videos, and probably try to get us YouTubers to use these, these video chapters even more in our videos. So this way it's easier for everybody to know exactly what is being talked about and when. This next change is one that's pretty small and you might not see it all the time. It's going to be a suggested uh, thing for you to do, which means that as you first start playing the video, uh, there's going to be a little pop up on the bottom that says uh, rotate your phone. So it's going to be a suggestion based on what you're watching. So if you're watching something that's probably 4K, a lot of you know video that's happening, the moment you hit the play button, it's going to say suggested rotate your phone. Or if it's something that is shot in 360, soon I'll have some 360 videos coming up shortly, and it might actually even give you a suggestion to watch it in VR. But again, it's something that's very small. You're not going to see it all the time, and there's going to be more suggestions being released as time goes on. Now this next one, we're going to go right on back, and let's just say that we head on back home. 
So what's gonna happen now is when you go inside of your settings on the very top right hand side, and then when you go inside of the normal settings right here, uh, when you go inside of general, there's something that's brand new. And this is one that is not only, you know, a need to take a break, but remind me when it's bedtime. So sometimes, you know, you might turn on the do not disturb on your cell phone, the blue light filter or grayscale. This is something else that you can also do. So what would happen is it's going to just remind you when it's bedtime. So if you're laying in bed, you're watching some videos, and let's say like maybe it's getting close to midnight and you should be probably going to bed. You're going to get a notification right around 11.45 p.m. just letting you know, hey, uh, you should probably go to bed. It is getting pretty late. So that video that we just got done watching from vidIQ, they were talking about YouTube Shorts. So this is something that I'll also be playing with here very shortly. I'm just going to find the best way to do it. So originally when you go in inside of your home, when you go inside of Explore, even your memberships and subscriptions, you're going to notice that there's a lot of stories. Now stories, these are just short little videos that anybody can record. Uh, it's pretty cool because even things that you're not subscribed to will actually pop up. Well, there is something that's brand new that is called short videos. Now, short videos, these are going to be any video that is shot vertically, that is 60 seconds or less. It also has the hashtag called shorts on the top. Or what you'll be able to see is with this new icon in the middle, you're going to have an option to where you can upload a video, but you can also upload shorts. So shorts, again, is vertical videos. This is basically just YouTube's take on TikTok um, or Instagram Reels or any of those other short version videos that are all vertical, you know, also again, like uh, Snapchat. Now, the thing that's really nice about these shorts is that especially if you're a YouTuber, you'll be able to really get noticed when you normally wouldn't. So let's say you go to explore uh, and then let's say that we watched a Mr. Beast video, right? So as you're watching a Mr. Beast video, he's getting, you know, 18, 17 million views in one day. When you scroll down, what you're going to notice is after there's one or two suggested videos, Boom, here is those stories and short videos. So let's say that you just scroll through here and let's just find a random video. So let's just kind of click on this one here. When you tap on this person's YouTube channel, this person only has 2.75 thousand subscribers, but yet he's getting some views. This is all of his short videos. If he had more short videos, you'd be able to scroll through and watch it kind of like TikTok. But then when you go to his full channel, um, obviously there's really not much going on here and that's probably why there's not many subscribers, but uh, you'd be able to see that you'd be able to get recognized pretty easy if you make these short videos. So soon I will be creating some. Um, I'm just gonna find the best format for that. So now with that last segment we just got done talking about, you saw that there's now a plus symbol on the very bottom. Now your phone might look something like this. You have your home, explore, subscriptions, notifications, and library. With this newer update, you just have your home. You also have your explore. This is where that adding of a new video is. So instead of it being at the top, it's now gonna be on the bottom. Your subscriptions is still gonna be on the bottom. Now these notifications that are right here, the notifications on the newer update is actually gonna be on the very top. So where you see that little bell with six, that's gonna be your notifications without it being on the bottom and then your library. So there's gonna be just a few different small changes. I kind of like it being down here. It's it's a thumb length away, easy hit a button, um, add in a video, same thing with right, right up over here. Uh, upload a video, go live, upload a video, go live, add to your story. So if you wanna make a story and then create a post. Um, let's see, creating a story. I was trying to see if the shorts option was there. I don't have the shorts option, but soon that should be popping up here because I don't have the option. And if you want to shoot a shorts inside of YouTube, just make sure that in the title and description, you put in hashtag shorts. So that is it for today's video. That is everything that's brand new, right around eight different changes, additions, or something that's been moved around. I, you know what, I'm actually pretty excited for it, especially with the shorts. It's a way that you're able to get recognized without anybody being subscribed to you. So then you're able to be discovered a little bit easier. Also too, the analytics of shorts is completely separate of the normal analytics of any other YouTube video. Because again, it's basically opposite of what you normally do. Usually on YouTube, you want a big thumbnail, it's horizontal. You want a longer video, something over eight minutes or 10 minutes. This one's gonna be something completely opposite. Everything is vertical. You don't create your own thumbnail. Usually it kind of pulls something from the video itself. You wanna have a catchy title and everything is done vertically and under 60 seconds. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.